G'day there, Craig from Fully Air Condition here. Today, just gonna to do a, hopefully it's a quick video on setting up a timer on the LG Deluxe controller. That's the white controller, it's got a color screen. It's got like touch buttons down the bottom, rounded corners. I'll um, put a photo up. I was gonna set the timer up. Every unit's a bit different the way they do the timer and again with LG, they're a little bit different. So it can be confusing, especially when you've gone from one style of controller to another brand um, and you need to know how to set it up so uh, yeah let's get into it we've got the premium touchscreen and then we've got the deluxe I know it says stamped here but it actually is the deluxe controller and that's what it looks like it's got rounded corners so the time is what we want to get into so we want to just go across to menu and then push ok and then once we're into menu we want to go across to schedule now I know it does have timer but the timer is an on off timer so it'll turn on for a period of time and then you can set an off time we don't want that we want to set a schedule timer because we want to set up to schedule to turn on for certain days of the week and everything else so we go into the timer and then we want to go down to um, schedules and edits go into there and i've been playing around already earlier and I've set a timer to turn on at 5.30 in the morning and then also to turn off at 9 o'clock. Um, we're going to add another schedule. So you can add a whole list of schedules here and each schedule is a, a, a one action schedule. So this is just turning on early in the morning and this is our timer turning off. So we're going to add another one. And here I've just set it over winter and in Canberra winter lasts for about five months. So we're going to set it from the 5th to the 9th. So you, you, you scroll across with the left and right buttons and then you adjust it up and down. Go across to this one and push OK. So custom, so custom you can just select one day of the week um, or in the customized it already has the weekend selected the weekdays or all days we're just going to do every day and we go across to here and okay so i've already set the time of the turn on at 5 30 in the morning we're going to have it turning off at nine o'clock then we're going to have it turning back on at three o'clock in the afternoon when the kids get home and then we're going to have it turning down to a lower set point uh, at about 10 30 at night so i've scrolled across and we don't want it to stop we want it to oops start i keep thinking it's touch screen but it's not so the operation so we want it to operate and at the moment it's in cooling mode and we want heating then we want to set the temperature so we want it to be 22 degrees and we want it to kick on and, and heat, so we're going to put it on to high. Um, you can also choose low, medium, but not auto. So we want high, so it has the most power. Okay. So now that's been added to our schedule. So now every day it's going to turn on. Now we want to add another one. And so we want to, we don't want to turn it off. We want to turn it down. So... on well I at, at say 10 30 at night rather than turning the system completely off we're just going to turn it down to 16 degrees and then what will happen there if um, it gets too cold during the middle of the night the unit will actually turn on and heat up so if you go past something you, know, you want to change you can easily just go back okay it takes you back to the next screen so here I've just select every day scroll across okay now the next one we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing pm and then we're going to go 10 30 so 10 30 rather than having it turn off we're going to turn it down um, okay and we want it to operate we want it to operate in heating and we're going to leave it on 16 degrees and maybe just medium fan speed and okay so here gives you a rundown of what's set so and you can scroll through it 
So every day we're turning on at 5.30. It also gives you the period. So um, the 24th of the 5th, 2024, to 24th of the 9th, um, the 1st of the 9th. Um, I've tried to do that all the way through the same. I might have got it wrong. So this schedule here, just say you wanted it to run like that over winter every year, um, you would just set it up, and but you'd need to go in and edit it for every single every single year. Or if you were editing it, editing it, we can change the date here. And then we could just say, well, look, I really want it just to operate turning on for the next 10 years. Okay, so you can, you don't, it doesn't need just to be for one year. So that is going to run during those time periods for 10 years. But you need to go in and, and set it for all of them. Okay, so now just say you've got all your schedules here and you want to edit one. So you can easily just go into one of the, Schedules, okay. Let's say we didn't want to, we wanted it, we're happy for it to run like that for the next 10 years. So we're going to go down to period and we're going to change it from um, 2024 to 2034. 2034, okay. Then we need to move the cursor back up to save. And okay, schedule has been edited and saved, and now it's going to run from the 24th, like 2004 to 2034. So we won't need to change that for 10 years. It's good because you might want to have heating set points set up different to cooling or vice versa. So this gives you the ability to set quite a few timers. But the way the timer is configured isn't much different from this one. It's just a few different pushing of the buttons. Um, then we can get out of there. So now we've got the scheduled days. It's like that gives us a bit of a rundown of what's happening. So um, that gives us an idea of what's happening. So it's heating for this period at 16, then it's off. Heating for this period at 22 and off. And these are all the different timers that could be set. So there's quite a number of them um, that you can you can add and, and edit and everything else. You can also go down to days that um, you don't want to run. So just say you knew exactly when there was a public holiday and, and there was a work air conditioner, you could actually schedule that if you wanted. Um, just say you were going away on holidays and you wanted to schedule it, you could do that as well. Yeah, and that is about it. It's um, pretty simple and it's more about knowing the process to apply to the particular unit. I don't think it's that hard to set up, but it can be if you don't know where to start from. So hopefully this video helps you a little bit. Thanks. Bye. When the sun's beating down and the sweat on your brow, all the air conditions, when you're having no fun because your hands and toes are numb, you only need to remember one day.